Hey everyone, it's Ashlina. Welcome back to my channel. Mm, Paramore. Paramore has released a new music video today and I need to watch it. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing today. All right, so Thick Skull. I'm trying to remember how I felt when I first heard Thick Skull. So I think I'm going to go and watch my reaction to that song and remind you and remind myself how I felt. All right, so I just watched uh, my clip of me listening to Thick Skull for the first time and I said it's one of my top tracks from the album and it's the last like it's and it's the last song on the album which is amazing so I'm excited to see what kind of imagery they put in with this because you guys know and if you don't know I'm not a music video person I actually don't care for them at all um, but when it's one of your favorite bands putting on a music video you're gonna watch it so I figured why not react to it with you guys all right, I'm putting back my orange little man here because good Lord, does my mic sound awful without it. I was only testing because someone told me that it looks stupid and I was like, fine, you wanna hear what it sounds like without it? A lot of popping of the peas, so deal with that. Apparently my new background is unnatural and uninviting and I look like a radio host. I'm like, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> All right, let's watch this music video, I'm excited. It's like a continuation from their last music video. I am attracted to broken people. I pick them up and now my fingers are bleeding and it looks like my fault. Hmm. And it looks like I'm caught. Red handed. are just so soothing.
crazy. Wow. Hmm. I dig it. Listen, that song, that song is intense because the way I interpret it is like she's in a relationship with someone who's got a thick skull, big head, uh, big ego, all that stuff. And obviously it ended and it's the same lesson she's had before in past relationships. It's just so fitting to so many people. And the lyrics alone are fascinating. I'm going to pull them up. I am a magnet for broken pieces. I am attracted to broken people. I pick them up and now my fingers are bleeding and it looks like my fault and it looks like I'm caught red handed. And then I just love that she says, I'm hit over the head. It's an epiphany over my head repeatedly. Thick skull never did nothing for me. Same lesson again, unless she's talking about her own thick skull. Um, obviously, I don't know what the song's fully about. Um, but I think my favorite part in this whole song is what's the body count up to now? That's so fucked up. I just um, presume that, you know, her ex cheated and she's just like, so what's your body count up to now? Like, it's just so rude. And I love that for her. Oh, man. It's such a good song. I'm going to go on Genius.com and see if anyone has said anything about what the song is about. Haley stated that the last song on the album, Thick Skull, is reflective of my biggest insecurities throughout our career. Hmm. The shit people projected onto me all these years saying the band is manufactured or that I'm using my friends for my own personal career advances. I decided to speak directly to those fears, even in indulging the naysayers. This being that the last album of this era of our career... As part of the same contract I signed as a teen, I just want to leave all those fears and the bullshit here. I'm not taking with it, taking it with me any further. I feel like I remember reading that uh, when I reacted to this album, but like, sure, if that's what the song's about, that's what the song's about. But I take this song to a whole different level of just her being with the wrong people, and I think that could be true as well. Yeah, I, I just, I'm so proud of this band for being signed for the same, at the same label for so long, and now they're free agents, and they promised us that new music is still going to happen, they have a healthy long-term career in music to come, I'm just stoked to see what they do, um, I really enjoyed the remix album they put out, uh, there were some songs where I'm like, meh, they're okay, but I love hearing people's interpretations of songs, I love hearing covers, I love seeing how they change it up, how different, interesting, horrible they come out to be. It's just fascinating to me how people think of songs in different lights, different genres, things like that. So if you haven't had a chance to listen to the remix album, go check it out. It's pretty cool. I do have a full album reaction to that as well. Yeah, I must say, um, I've listened to a couple of the songs on there after reacting to that album, but a lot of them I never went back to. I just always go back to the original Paramore songs. Oh, Paramore, you guys are just epic, and I'm so proud of the band you've become. I will always be a fan. I will be at every Toronto show when you come here, like I always have been, and my support is never-ending, and I just want the best for you, and Haley, your hair looks fucking sick short. If anyone can pull off short hair like that, it's Haley Williams, one of the best voices in music today. Come at me, bro. Listen, I really need to change up my vinyl of the day, like desperately. Do I just grab a new one? Let me grab a new one. Okay, can we talk about this gem that I found in a Toys R Us? Are you joking? I have been looking for this vinyl for 20 years. And uh, I, I, you know, obviously I would have bought one that was used, but come on, look how sick this looks. Yes, it was $50 Canadian. I feel like that's a deal. This is the 20th anniversary of Evanef Evanescence's album, Falling. This is the 20th anniversary of Evanescence's album, Fallen. And I remember when this album came out, I was so mad because I was like, Ugh, that's the kind of music I wanted to do. I wanted to do like rock, operatic, singing, 
with rock, basically. Basically what Evanescence was doing. And I was so mad, but then I fell in love. Obviously, it's a little um, ripped on the plastic part, but it was the last one there. So there was no way I wasn't buying this. So I'm so excited to open it. I really need to start doing more shorts on YouTube and open these so I can spin them because that one needs to be spun ASAP. So if you like Evanescence, go check out Fallen again because you'll fall in love with it all over again. And if you haven't heard of Evanescence or you're just not sure if you'll like them, go check them out. Amy Lee's voice is stupid. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an awesome day.